Well, hello, YouTubers. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. Um, this is part three of my uh, transmission that I'm sticking back together. And uh, the last time I saw you and we spoke, um, at the end of part two, I had pretty much had the transmission back to there. Um, I couldn't really go any farther. I've got the, uh, the sun shell gear, I believe that's what they call it. And, and I pretty much stopped because the next unit that goes in is the uh, forward piston right here, the clutch pack. And of course it turned out uh, it was torn. And you can see the seals, I think, right there. Those seals should be here tomorrow. Man, there's a lot of noise out here today. Birds are squeaking. Sirens. I don't know what's going on today, but hopefully it doesn't cut up my uh, sound too much. And also on the transmission on the bottom, the one to uh, uh, plunger, the, uh, the gasket's torn pretty good there. So I'm waiting on this tomorrow. Um, I think that's what they call it. I, I pretty much uh, said what it was in the uh, part two video. Sunday, so I'm just kind of taking it easy today. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, the purpose of me uh, kind of showing you this right now, I'm going to pull the, uh, the intermediate clutches back out of there, clutch pack, and show you the seals and everything. I didn't sh get to show it to you in the uh, second video because I kind of got ahead of myself and I stuck it back together without making a video of uh, that uh, clutch pack because I didn't think anybody would really care about it. But I figured I'd just pull this back out real quick and take it apart and show you guys. It won't take very long. It's just kind of setting in our so I'll set the camera back up here. And I, I know I've already taken part of this apart and made a video, but I figured, well, I might as well go ahead and do it again. It ain't going to hurt anything. It'll only take me about five or ten minutes to pull it apart. It's pretty simple to do, so we'll go ahead and pull this apart here. And I just wanted to give you a look at the uh, intermediate clutch pack that uh, I didn't get to record. And that way I can go back for my own video purposes later and to verify that I actually did that. So I'll set the camera up on the tripod and we'll take this out here and get into those clutches. Okay, hopefully you can see there I got the sun shining in here today. Uh, just a little side note, it's the uh, last day of October, tomorrow is November 1st and <laughs> normal high this time of the year is about 60, well it's about 55 to 60 degrees. It's going to be almost in the mid 80s for the next 3 or 4 days. Uh, just unbelievable how hot it is right now and I'm not quite used to it. I'm trying to adapt to it but I don't know in about a month or so we're going to be paying for it just like we did in 2013 mid-November almost zero <laughs> but anyway so I will got my gloves on and we'll go ahead and take this apart and I'll just you know I'm not going to name off every piece I took apart pull out but you'll get an idea uh, if you're going to go in here and tinker with your transmission you can get an idea how some of these parts go in and come back out and I don't want to um, make this video too long because I still have to finish putting this together when my uh, seals come in. So I'll try to keep my fat face out of the shot. All right, we'll pull this out, this bearing. And there's a little bearing on the front and there's one sets on this sun shell gear. Um, I don't know if it's called a sun shell. It's called sun something, a shell something, I forget. Pull this out, we got this little guy here. Kind of stick that like that, and you got to watch. These parts are very sharp. You can get cut. This is why I'm wearing gloves, and I would recommend that you do too. And there's a look at the gears. Make sure you check all your gears. There's no teeth broken or anything. Set this off the side. And now there's a uh, clip right here. I think you can see that. You just kind of grab right here with your fingers and pop it out like so. Nice little clip. Nice clip. And now we can pull this uh, planet set out. Sometimes you gotta use both hands to wiggle it around. Let's see. Take my hammer and tap on it because it's setting down there pretty good. There we go. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I forgot. It's Sunday. <laughs> forgot to take out that uh, spring, the anti-rattle clip, which 
is right there. I knew I was forgetting something. There you go. This guy here. Forgot about taking that out of there. Kind of goes in there like that. It keeps that uh, planet from moving around and clunking. And now we can take out the planet set. Both hands. Sometimes you gotta turn. I'll probably set the camera back out my way just a little bit there. Okay. Well, usually the planet set comes out together, but that's okay. Go ahead and set it like this. There we go. And there's the planet set. And be careful with these. Be careful with these bearings on the inside, and check your race, copper race. I'll set this back together real quick. Put this off to the side. Hopefully you won't see any leaves flying in here because it's awful windy out here today too. They keep blowing in the garage. Now I'll take out the band, reverse band, pop it off. Now, re now remember, in order to get that the planted out, you got to take off on the side of the transmission. You got to take off your uh, turbine speed sensor because this actually hits it. You don't want to break it, but you got to take this off. And now I can pull out the planet. which is right here. I mean, not the planet, the uh, forward clutch. I mean, not the forward clutch, the intermediate clutch. Pack, and there it is. And of course, the rest of it, I don't, ha I don't have to take it apart. I have a bearing on the back. I am going to set this in the case, just like it came off of this um, intermediate clutch pack, so I don't lose it. And make sure you check it, you know, make sure it's in good shape. And there is the clutch pack out kind of something like that. And now I'm going to go take it over there and we'll set it on my uh, press and we'll press this out and we'll look at this piston. And I'll give you a quick look at these uh, clutch packs. I know they're okay, but you know, like I said, people are thinking, why are you tearing this back down? Well, I just like I said, I just wanted to show you the, show you the uh, intermediate clutch packs and we'll put it back together. That's about all I can do until the rest of my parts come in. So we'll set it up on the uh, press over here. All right, there's my setup. Just uh, kind of setting in the press and uh, I tucked a couple of screwdrivers, a couple needle nose, and you can see that clip right there. Popped it out. This bracket piece here, oh guys, just something that I've had in my junk pile. It just happens to work. Pushes down on those springs enough to get that uh, clip out of there so now i'm going to release the pressure on this and take it out it's nice to have a little press like this and i'm using a uh, a socket just to kind of sit on top of it to push down on i think this is a motor mount bracket or something i have a box of junk i keep if you don't know what you're going to need that's for sure all right there it is. Don't lose your clip. I'll tell you what, we'll set it over here off. Uh, we'll set it off the side over here and we'll look at it. All right, and there's the intermediate clutch pack. Uh, the clutches are down there. And here is the seal around this piston here. Since I don't have a piston kit, I am just buying the, uh, the seal that's broken, like I said, for the forward piston clutch set. And everything here in this one, like I said, is in excellent shape. I don't see anything major here. And there's no seal on the inside, but there is a seal down in there. It's a little lip seal on the very bottom. And I've checked it, and 
it looks like it's in really good shape too. So this is basically uh, what this sets down into. And uh, I'll show you the clutches real quick. They're like brand new. See, they're in pristine condition almost. So I don't have to worry about anything there. So now, really, all I gotta do is just put it back together and uh, continue after my seals come in and all that, which should be here. Uh, I'm hope, hope, I hope by tomorrow they'll be here. Check your springs, you know, make sure they're not broken. There's a lot of pressure on this little guy. Little guy's gotta work hard for you, you know. And look right here in the light. I'll show you the seal. I think you can see that seal down in there. My camera will pick it up. Yeah, right, right down in there. And I checked it, and I see no tears or no scratches or anything that looks like it's getting bad. I really wish I had a seal kit. I'd just do the whole seals, but like I said, nothing else was wrong with it, and it ran great. But I just think that one particular seal will fix everything. So uh, there's a look at it. I'll stick it back over here. And we'll stick it back together. Now, in order to you know take this apart, I've seen guys online, if they, they have a small press, they'll take a block of uh, two by four and they'll, make a ch they'll take a chisel to it and they'll make something like a fork uh, to push down on uh, this here, these springs, to, to release that uh, clip. I've seen that. Uh, there's all kind of ways you can uh, get this off. They also make a special tool. If you have a special tool, that'll work. But you definitely got to pull these apart and check these seals because they do blow and it will cause your transmission just to go flat on its face. All right, so I'll stick all this back together and we'll pick up um, where I, we left off at the, be, uh, the beginning of this video. I don't know why I did all this because I don't think anyone's going to even see it or watch it, but hey, like I said, I can go back and um, look at my stuff and maybe 50 years from now someone's restoring an expedition or something and they may go back and go, oh, look at this guy. He actually did something to it. And they can look at this and rebuild their transmission, or at least try to figure out what's wrong with it. All right, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Uh, I got the uh, clutches back in and everything. It looks pretty good, and I got the clip on. Like I said, I pressed it back in. Uh, now, you got two set of bearings here. you got this, uh, well, this is not a bearing. This is actually sort of a, uh, a big uh, washer. But it has to go in the Pacific, it has to go in the, uh, Pacific way. It has to go uh, down like that. You see a little place there that's cut in it? It has to go in like that. Sometimes this can be kind of difficult to get out. You have to take a magnet and get it out. Then you got your bearing that sits on top of that, like that, and the flat part sits down like that. And now I am ready to set this back in the uh, transmission and we'll put it back together. And now, um, next time I see you, we'll be uh, finishing up here. So, uh, yeah, I almost forgot to tell you guys that. Oh, and one last thing. I know I keep saying it, but I'm trying to cover everything. Uh, there's your clutch, uh, your clutches. You can see they're kind of sitting down there. This guy here, you really got to take your time. This has got to go flush all the way down, so you have to sort of spin it, play around with it, and uh, I'll have to show you how it look, what it looks like when it's all the way in. I have to set the camera down, and uh, once I get it down in there, I'll show you. Sometimes what I'll do, I'll take my screwdriver and I'll stick down where these clutches are and I'll try to align those clutches up where those teeth are. And that sometimes helps it uh, drop in pretty fast too. Alright, there it is. It's all the way in. That's what it looks like. It's got to be pretty flush with this steel on the outside there. And there's the clip. Because a lot of guys will get this not quite all the way down in there. Then it uh, gets forced beyond that last clutch friction uh, down in there. And it kind of, you lose one of your uh, clutches, and you only have uh, three there. So you got to be careful to get this all the way down in there. And now, I am ready to put this together, finally. I promise. <laughs> Trying to cover all the bases here so I don't uh, forget anything. And it looks pretty good. And I'll start sticking it back together now. As the temperature just soars in the 80s. Unbelievable. All right, well, another day, another heat wave I guess you would say in November November 2nd 81 degrees check out the trees there's still uh, leaves on them and by now they're usually gone so this has been a strange year 
and uh, give you a nice little look at here how beautiful it is today. So, uh, yeah, beautiful. So, uh, looks like in a few months, probably be in the deep freeze. But, a uh, little update on my uh, transmission here. I got some parts today, but I still didn't get what I needed. If you guys have been kind of following along, still have not gotten this a seal the forward piston seal uh for the uh, forward clutches they had a big fire up in detroit took out all the servers so my order got lost so i had to go back to ford today and they had to reorder it so hopefully tomorrow so it's been five days but i did get my one to accumulator of a piston here was the old one that was torn ripped all the shit and uh here's the new one came today <laughs> But uh, it's pointless me for me to put that in right now. There's the uh, new spring it came with. Got that for $14. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, not a whole lot I can do until the uh, forward piston comes, the uh, gasket. What I'm going to do, oh, I think I'm going to take the uh, the uh, front pump up part and expect the uh, the, f the front set of uh, uh, seals here. Which I believe is the, uh, let's see, I think it's the direct uh, direct uh, pump uh, piston. That's what they call it there. I'll have to take it apart. I may do that here in a little bit, but that's really all I can do. I'll take the spring cage off, pop that off, take these pump the housing bolts off, and there's a piston there. There's a couple seals. I'm going I'm to go in there and check it and check the gears and make sure there's no scratches or any really bad marks. But uh, that's about all I can do right now. But I'm actually, I, wouldn't, I didn't think I'd have to say this in November, but I'm going to wait till it cools down a little bit out here. It's kind of hot in the garage right now. Unreal. Uh, there's a look at it. Like I said, I've stopped right there. I can't go any farther because the next thing I have to put in is the forward clutches <clears throat> and uh, the front band and all that. But uh, at least that came today, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Slowly getting things together here. So I just want to give you guys a little update. And also for my reference so uh well we'll wait another day in the meantime i'll go out and take some video and pictures and document this unusually warm day 82 right now with a dew point of 57 <laughs> unheard of for this time of year we're gonna pay for it we're gonna be freezing our ass off in a couple months i guarantee it history has proven that in the past and al gore wherever you're at <laughs> oh i better shut up all right, I'll give you guys an update here a little bit later when I get the forward seal and uh, hopefully get this thing back together because I really want to get that back in the expedition and get it together for my neighbors. I'm kind of embarrassed it's taking this long, but who knew they was going to have a fire up in Detroit. It's the Ford uh, dealer place, I guess, where they order all their parts for the whole country. Shit happens. All right, update here shortly. All right, about a week later, finally I uh, get my seal. I had to go to Ford, and we had to straighten it out. They sent me a couple different ones, and I go on eBay, and I find one, but it's not going to be here for three or four days. But luckily, the one at Ford finally came. They, they sent me two different ones, but it wasn't uh, the right one. But I sent them back, and we tried one last thing, and I figured out this was the right part. So it looks like I'm going to put my new seal on my uh, piston here and start putting it back together. Now, I actually ordered a couple of these because they do go bad a lot in some of these transmissions. Now the 4 I see the uh, 2002 transmissions on all up, the 5R, 55S, and W and all that, they're a little bit different, but the process is basically the same. Th those seals are a little smaller, and these are actually a little bit bigger than this 70RW transmission. But uh, start putting it back together, and the seal is only uh, $7.23. Um, so now what I'm going to do is put that together and go ahead and uh, finish up the transmission. I'm not going to have too much here to do, and I'm going to start putting it in. But I'm going to check this pump real quick, and I'll uh, we'll look at it real quick here in a few minutes, and we'll start putting everything together. But uh, there were the uh, <clears throat> the uh, inter see the intermediate clutches up front, reverse clutches, the forward clutches, which I'm going to be replacing here. Then you got the direct clutch that sits in the back which is in the far back of the transmission, which I kept calling it something else. But uh, a lot of these transmissions, some of them are set up a little differently. But that's basically, there's four sets of clutch packs in it. And now they're all going to be almost brand new. 
So, I'm going to start cracking here. We'll go ahead and put this seal on and uh, we'll start putting everything back together and I'll put this uh, whole housing here in. I'm going to have to take my, compre my, uh, take my uh, big old uh, press and uh, yeah, I'm still recording and uh, go ahead and press the spring down and uh, put it back together. So, next uh, time I see you, we'll look at that torque converter. I mean, not the torque converter. We'll look at the uh, front pump tear it apart real quick and look at it, see if we see anything unusual and uh, finish up and put this transmission in okay happy happy joy joy here's my uh, new setup got all my new clutches and stuff in i'll take this uh steel out real quick and uh just kind of get an idea what the new clutches look like compared to the old ones that i had just uh taken out ah i set the camera down to get that other now oh hang on uh i almost had that other one hand sometimes it's kind of hard to do things but anyway there's my new clutches and between all the clutches remember you got steels and all that and uh let's see here is uh you find i've got one here that's really toasted this one here it's <laughs> it's done so your clutches aren't supposed to look like that they're supposed to look like that with lots of friction material and uh, I got my piston in there, real easy to do. Just take your time, kind of turn it, and make sure the seals don't catch on any of those grooves, and it'll eventually go in. I usually just turn it, just take your time until it drops in. And now all I gotta do is put this guy here in. And uh, got my spring, I'm gonna spring my clip. And then all I have to do is take my press and press this down in, and uh, put this on. And I'm ready to assemble it. So I just wanted to kind of show myself that I actually did this. So uh, there you go, We're looking pretty good. And also check your two seals that you got down there. Make sure they're not torn or anything. Mine are in good shape. Nothing wrong there. And inspect the shaft. And this is your uh, forward clutch pack. It's done and I'm all happy. So now we're gonna stick this in there and uh, go ahead and start working on that pump here. Just double check it before I put the rest of this back in. All right, I got the uh, forward clutch uh, clip back on down there. Got my... Uh, wrench there uh, thumb wrench and actually this is a bearing couplet i've got a bunch of junk over there hey whatever works but it's on and i'll just take it out and start uh assembling putting everything back in transmission here's what i was using just a bearing race the idea is you want to push this centerpiece down far enough to be able to take that clip there pull it out here and look, take a look at it and uh, get that clip back in there. Uh, like I said, they make a pull, I bet you can make your own, just to push down on the outside here. To push that down and get that clip on. So all my clutches are in. And I'm ready to stick this bad boy in. And uh, look at that torque converter. Uh, look at that uh, front pump. And uh, hopefully I might get, actually get to start putting this in the uh, expedition this afternoon before it gets too late today and actually finish it up tomorrow. So next time we uh, see any video here, it'll be the front pump. We'll give you a look at it real quick. Well, I'm ready to drop this uh, complete unit in it now. This is the reverse and the uh, direct, uh, the, the reverse and the forward clutches. It's all one unit, one assembly. It sits down there. But before I do that, I really had to put this big <coughs> servo back in. Here's how I set mine up. I just used a wrench and put a couple of screws there. I used a couple of the transmission bolts and put a socket there. Push down on it and tuck my uh, needle nose and put that clip in there because that clip is kind of hard to get in there if you don't have a tool. But if you don't have a tool, you can use something like that. And now I can go ahead and stick in this because the reason I had to put that in there, uh, see that pen right there? Well, that pen kind of works that band there, so you got to get that pen in first before you put this uh, whole unit. Once this drops in, and I put the uh, front band in then uh, go ahead and put in the uh, clutches there the front pair and put in the uh, front pump so uh, yeah just wanted to give you guys a little heads up that's how I can do it but you can go out and buy tools that will uh, let you push those uh, seals in and out just to check them All right, now what I've uh, decided to go ahead and do before I uh, start putting everything back together, by the way, I haven't yet tore, tore down the uh, 
front pump that we'll hear shortly. I put the reverse clutches and the forward clutches uh, on the uh, torque converter, kind of set it in there like it's supposed to go in, and this kind of holds all this up. And right here are there are a couple of holes. You got a reverse band and you got a forward band. Uh, your forward clutches, and this is where the fluid goes in. And what I'm going to do is do an air check. I got my compressor there, and we're going to shoot some air into the forward clutch assembly hole, and we're going to see if this works. Great. Working good, just like it should. Now it's common to hear a little leakage, but uh, they are, it's working great. And there's the reverse one. You can check it again. And I can hear it working just like it should. And this assembly is now ready to be put back together. Thank goodness, because this guy here was toast. When I did an air check on it, when I first took it apart, these were not moving whatsoever. I would stick the hose up in here, push a little air in there, and nothing would happen. But now, completely different story. So I'm very happy. So now we're going to stick it together. And make sure you do this before you put it back together, just to make sure you get your forward and your reverse clutches working okay. All right, now at this point, I've got my forward clutches in, my reverse clutches, the two, the two drum packs you saw. And now I've got this uh, intermediate set of clutches in. Now, at this point, all I have to do is put in that uh, pump. But I'm gonna tear it apart real quick and make sure the seals are okay. Put the gasket in here and we're good. Now, it, I wanted to show you uh, the way you know that you put this transmission back together. So when you get up here and you see this plate, steel plate, it is pretty much flush, not quite. Uh, the steel plate sits back in there maybe about two sixteenths of an inch or maybe a sixteenth inch of an inch. If you've got it like that, then you know you've got your uh, clutch packs, transmission put, pat, put back together pretty much the way it should be. You gotta remember, halfway in that case, you have a big spring. Uh, you saw earlier that you release with your fingers. Uh, if it goes in okay, then you know you're halfway through the transmission, you're putting it in right. And when you get up here, all you have to worry about is make sure that it's pretty much flush with the case of the transmission. And uh, you should be able to turn this with your hand. Not always, but it will turn just a little bit. And I got a little bit of grease on my hands, so it does turn a little bit. And uh, the reason that is, you see this pump, it has to pretty much go flush with the back of that case and when it goes flush with the back of this case back here it pushes on these uh, uh, intermediate uh, clutches and it's what, that's what pretty much works them and your uh, front pump has a passage here areas where fluid flows through and operates those clutches and puts line pressure through uh, the front direct clutch and all that and the back clutch and the front clutches uh, that's pretty much how you know when you pretty much got your transmission in right. So uh, at this point, I'm going to tear that apart real quick and look at it. We'll stick that in, and transmission is pretty much done. All I have to do is put on a put a couple of seals in there on the back, bottom of the valve body. Um, a couple of those uh, guys over there that I showed you earlier, and bolt the ba valve body back on, and there's not much there really. And I'm ready to put the transmission back in. I'm gonna put this is uh this is the one two accumulator piston I believe. There's the new one, and I got a brand new spring. Got all that for thirteen dollars online, and it's about done. Thank goodness, because I'm getting a little tired. I think I'll take a few days off after this. All right, so uh, we'll be back here shortly, and we'll go ahead and put this. Uh, we'll look at this uh, pump, make sure there's no uh, bad places inside the pump, any scratch marks or anything like that that should alarm me at this point. All right, I got the front pump tore apart, and uh, so far, I, not, nothing really major. Uh, just some very light scratches, nothing uh, unusual. That's normal wear. What we're looking for is pits, uh, some broken teeth, big grooves cut in here from uh, debris. But I don't see anything. It looks pretty good. Although I saw a little bit of a stain right there. I took some emery cloth and went over it, and it's pretty smooth. So I'm not sure. Why that's there but everything else looks good even the uh, brass bushing looks great just uh, very light scratches and uh, of course this is a brand new seal so I am ready to put it together and here is the inner uh, housing for that gear and you can see it's in 
really good shape. That's really what you're looking for. You don't want anything that's uh, cut, busted. That, that, that will cause your pump pressure to really get uh, low and you'll start to have a shifting. And that spins freely and there's really not that much play in there at all. You've got to have a little bit of a play so it'll spin. And uh, then you got your uh, little center gear. And uh, nothing serious, just some very light scratching. So these gears are reusable. Remember, when you take this apart and put it back in, there's a little beveled area right there. You can see that? That goes down like that. So your pump housing will go on it. And you can see this side, it's nice and smooth. Just some very light scratches. Like I said, I, I didn't have any pump issue, uh, oil pre pressure issues. It was just, uh, I'd lost the uh, forward clutches. And that's basically how it goes back in. And you run your fingers over it. I already had my, I already had my gloves off, but you want to run your fingers over it and make sure there's no uh, deep scratches or anything. And we're ready to put this together. Uh, one really cool thing is, here's the piston. This is really why I wanted to take it apart also, is check the seal. Pretty ingenious how they did that. You got a seal on the inside and one on the outside. And this works your uh, clutches up front there, your... Uh, yeah, intermediate clutches, I believe. The first pack there. And uh, we'll stick that back in there. Now, before I took this apart, I did make a couple light little scratch marks right there. If you can see that or not. So I kind of know where it goes back together. That's the whole key when you're doing this stuff. Make sure you make little marks. And that way you know where everything kind of goes back together. So really, all I'm going to do now is go ahead and stick all this back together. And uh, there's really not much to it. you got your... Uh, little tang uh, clips there that go on and here's the housing it's like I said it's in good shape uh, no scratches the seals look great and uh, just normal wear so uh, there's a quick look at it so now we're gonna stick off stick this together and all I gotta do is drop that pump in there and put those little bolts in and uh, basically do a couple small things put the valve body on that transmission ready to go back in so uh, there's a nice look at it but uh, Gotta check these seals. It's kind of ingenious how they did that. Just add it onto the pump and it squeezes those clutches there and helps out the uh, transmission. So, uh, like I said, this is just this is not a thorough overhaul. This is just an idea. I'm doing a little bit of detective work here, putting it back together so it'll run good. All right, uh, next I'll see you a little bit later. We'll hopefully have this all together and get ready to put it back in the, tra uh, the, the uh, SUV. All right, now I'm getting ready to put this uh, front pump back in. Now, I want to show you guys a tip. Uh, don't forget your little plastic uh, washer. It goes on the back of this. Now, a lot of guys have problems getting this to stay on. What I like to do, I, I put some heavy grease on it, just a little dab on the back side. And what that does, it will make it stick better to the back of this pump. And you can uh, drop it down in there and it won't fall off. Because I know a lot of times I've had a problem keeping these on like that, you see. And now if I flip this pump up, right side up, you see, it's still on. It won't fall off. Thought I'd show you that. And get your gasket ready. Pump housing gasket, don't forget to put that on there because I've actually put the pump on and forgot to take this off. And uh, I had to come back in and put that on and put that pump back on. So now I'm going to put the pump on and... Uh, We'll button up here and that's about all I can think of right now so it's getting late I don't know if I'll get this in there tonight but uh, tomorrow's a brand new day Saturday and hopefully I'll have it finished up and on this particular model I realized some do have a little clip that goes right there on this uh, clutch pack it keeps it from rattling and some don't mine did not so I guess I am okay unless someone worked on it before and didn't put it back in but I am just putting it back the way I took it apart because I didn't have any issues with it. So, uh, there you go. See you shortly. All right, good morning, YouTubers. It's all together. There's a look at it. I come out last night and put the, the valve pan on it and valve body. Pretty easy to do and a couple little uh, sensors, but I went ahead and stuck the torque converter in. <laughs> Left it sitting there all night, make sure I didn't have any leaks. Nothing leaked back out last night. And uh, I'm happy. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in today and it's actually I got it turned upside down right now to keep the torque converter in but uh, looks like we're going to be sticking this in so it looks like the next time we talk we will have this thing running 
and I will give you an update on how it's going to uh, how it's running. And I've got everything all set up in my let's see. Uh, my jack is up under there somewhere. Yeah, it's sitting up under there. There it is, right about there. Transmission jack, and uh, be glad to get it back together so my neighbors can start driving it. And I can go hunt me up an expedition. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy me one because I need something to tow with. And these things look like they're pretty good machines to tow with, especially uh, like I have back there that uh, car trailer, which is actually a sea trailer, it weighs over. A uh, thousand pounds. So, up. so we'll go ahead and prep things up here, and we'll get get stick, get, hurry up and get it stuck together. I put the uh, gasket in last night, and uh, all that, and the filter, and just did it all one trip, and uh, all one the stage. And all I have to do is flip it over and take that torque converter out. I'm gonna set the transmission up on the jack like I did in my other videos. Get it up in there, then put the torque converter up in there, and w once it's up in the uh, up under the uh, uh, SUV because that torque converter weighs probably 60 or 70 pounds. It's pretty heavy. There's a lot of extra weight there, so uh, I'm not as strong as I used to be, but luckily I got my jack. So, uh, all right, so uh, wish me luck, and here we go. Well, hello, kids. Today's a big day, Sunday. It's uh, early November, and it's going to the 60s today. Very beautiful day, and I'm happy to... Uh, to report that I've got the uh, transmission in. Right now I'm just putting the last little bit of transmission fluid in up there. i got a little cloth set up in a funnel kind of filtering out some of the uh, transmission fluid that got a little bit of uh, a little dirt in it, but nothing major. Um, I did want to pass along that uh, the news that it's all in, all hooked up, and you see the uh, transfer case there. What I did this time, now the first time I took it out. The second time well, you probably saw it in my first couple of videos, but this video here, uh, I didn't actually get to show you, but I left it in there. I just kind of ratcheted it up with something like this, uh, just a ratchet strap, and I left it hanging up over that frame right there, that cross member, and left it in there because it's kind of a, a tough guy to get back up in there if you don't have any help, and I'm a one-man band. That transmission is a job itself, but it's in, and we're going to start it here in a few minutes. And see how it goes and uh, once I get down the road here in a little bit we'll get back in here I'll let you guys know how it's shifting but I'm pretty excited uh, it's gonna be winter soon and it looks like we should be pretty good to go the only thing I need to do in about a month is pull the pan back off and just kind of change the filter put, the, put a new filter on it and maybe put a couple trans quarts of transmission fluid in but uh, I'm getting ahead of myself let's go out here here in a few minutes and take this thing for a test drive and see what we got well hello good people of the world and universe and youtubers wherever you're watching me from say hello but this is regarding the uh, transmission I got it all back in and uh, after I putting the put the, the new seal in the uh, front piston for the Ford clutches it's running great uh, no issues shifting great looks like I should be okay but uh, this will just give you guys some idea of what you got to get into when you tear one of these transmissions apart. If you like your explorers or your expeditions like I do, I think they ride better than a Jeep, personally. I've had a couple of Jeeps, but something about the explorers, they just seem like they run a little bit better. But uh, the exhausts are a pain in the ass, that's for sure. If you break a stud off the manifold or something, you have to go in and take the exhaust off, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, um, let's stop here and show you it doesn't stall no more. That torque converter took care of that. I am happy as a pig in a rainstorm in Mississippi. So uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and say hello, and hopefully I helped you guys out a little bit. Like I said, it wasn't a complete uh, perfect inspection, and uh, well, it almost turned out to be a perfect uh, a tear down. I tore down just about down to the, uh, while well, I tore through the transmission, except for the valve body, but like I said, the valve body, I, never, I really don't mess with unless it's running okay to begin with. But Everybody's different. So thanks for watching. That'll be the end of the video. And uh, I'm glad this is done. Now I can move on and go find me an expedition and get ready for winter. I can go four-wheeling in the snow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take, take care and uh, have a good one. Talk to you later.